Greetings everyone, my name is Adderville, and welcome back to my let's play of Scaleboy Refractured. We're continuing our journey through Refractured mode. Today I'll begin by traveling down into the dungeons. I say that with all the changes, Refractured mode is worth it. I wanted to verify if that route was open or not, in case the game pulled a fast one on me and placed another alternate route. Oh, goody, they have crystal swords too. They have the same endgame equipment as I do. Gross. Something's dripping from it. I think we all know what that thing is. Another thing. Expect a lot more debt. Ah, I never had that weapon before. The enemies are not fooling around. They're in fact using some of the exact same equipment I'm using. And let me tell you, they hurt a lot. Hey look, someone who looks almost exactly like me. Thanks for the speed boost. Precisely, Jaden, and a ground of all things. I may decide to make a new LP version of it, as well as the stream highlights versions. Gargoyles. How did it not take damage there? can't get off the gargoyle. I 
At the same time though, all of this is fair. The game already prepared us for all these challenges. Goody. I'll get back here to safety. That's why I couldn't reattach the head there. I didn't see my other body part get disconnected. To be quite frank, I find the super bats to be more annoying than the super gargoyles. And they swoop more often. Medusa heads. You cause enough grief already. There is a way you can dodge them. I haven't figured it out yet. Boss time. Tree version of the first boss. That wasn't too hard. Presents a problem. Never mind, it didn't count. Lava causes no problem for me. I have the bunny slippers after all. You, on the other hand... See? That's how you get past this section. No damage. Because of the bunny slippers, I'm immune to water and lava. It's awesome. These soldiers are randomly generated. The last time, they had a pitchfork. Oh, they did? That's interesting. You're really far off, YouTube. That's not a resource collection game at all. Resource collection games are stuff like Minecraft, Terraria, 
Stardew Valley, etc. Yeah, if water's too deep, you drown. Unless you have float shoes like I have. Glad to see that pushing over the statue still is in play. We're getting lots of mini-bosses, bosses, and regular enemy rushes in quick succession. I prefer to call them the float shoes. We If you thought the sewers weren't dangerous enough already. Is that pathway blocked off? Probably. Unless there's an easter egg. I'm gonna grab them here as I likely need them. Knows, I gotta be sure. At least there's no more water currents to worry about. Oh well, I can't go on top of lava anymore until I get the float shoes. get roasted. 
It's nice to cheese these sections, but I want to show doing this fair for once. So the state itself is attacking me. And we're out of here. That was my third attempt by the way. I got mauled by fireballs. Just please pay more attention. And we're out of here. Oh no, the swamps are full of lava too. I just need to get to that checkpoint. We're safe. I'm going in. I want the bunny slippers. Back with the float shoes. I know it increased my max HP by one, but it wasn't worth it. As a quick reminder of my next objective, I need to reach the princess's chambers, and due to multiple routes being completely locked off, I have to take a very roundabout way. The bunny slippers are one of the best feet in the game. Oh sure, they may not be as good in terms of combat, but for utility, especially in Refractured, they're amazing. Super Mushrooms. Now that'd be neat. The mushrooms are already dangerous. This map is so inaccurate now. For one, it's too colorful. I'm so missing the next tier of the axe and spear, which I'm likely missing because I skipped the random dungeon.
Pokemon. I just want to see where this goes to. Then I'll check out that route. Then leads back home. Next checkpoint, and that leads into the grassy maze. Perhaps. There are very likely some hats which I can't get anymore, as they're only accessible in normal mode. No matter. There was already a lot of wandering during my first playthrough. Easiest enemy rush yet. Oh. Ortiz helmet. Remember how we saved them from the tree earlier? In this world, without us. Yeah. So that pad is blocked off as I expected. I just went there for the mini boss battle. Don't mind me, I'm running past all of you. Just pretend I'm invisible. No, no, no. To the right leads the princess's chambers. And to the left is the arena. Is there a checkpoint still here? There is. This pad is blocked off too. I'm going to have to visit the arena then. Of all the weapon types in the game, I've used the lances and wands the least. Wands as they're mainly for support, lances as they don't deal enough damage, and it takes too long for them to charge up to be useful. are still here. The trio are still here too. They survived for this long. This time I'm rushing him. Wow, that was fast. 
Their HP is probably didn't get updated. takes out the birds. Now it's only you. I would like to see some alternate dialogue. That was gonna happen. I was missing armor. Attempt number two. Go away, zombie. The first two phases are even easier than before. It only takes two strikes for the first one, three for the second one. Look at all the crows in the distance. I'm trying my best to not activate them. Whoa! Going to this phase of the fight much better. In fact, it only took two charged mace strikes. And now you're talking. Thankfully, Blaze Mace is fine. Whoa, there's a lot of too much happening. Unlike the first episode where I started exploring this place, we're making far steadier progress. The increased linearity is helping.
Might as well be. This door is still closed. This looks disconcerting. What with all the red vines strewn around the place? Lady Piz. I shouldn't be surprised by this point. No one except Squirrelman survived. What's more surprising is that we don't really have that many other temporary weapons like the baguette. I thought there would be more of them in this game. Oh. Dark Skippy's alive too. Let's rumble. This is why I never unequip the gargoyle wings. They come in so handy in almost every situation. Even though Squirman caused all this, I still feel sorry for him. Princess is key. Key to the end. But I'll be saving that for the next and final episode. Well then, thanks for watching and have a nice day.